good. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, God. I was like, jiggle the camera around, trying to get situated. Welcome this is back, a everyone. new part of Elden Ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Since we're, we're an Elden Ring only channel now, apparently. So, our last video got like th four more views than the current, the one prior. So, no one was watching like the second one, but they're watching the shorter one. Oh, did it get more views? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it was ho bit. hovering around like four. I think it's at nine. Oh, hey, all right. It um, works. So yeah, we figured we'd do something a little bit different for this one, and just kind of play something cute little cat lady. Meow. Um, anyway, this is a uh, Star Cat, <laughs> uh, Star Cat Saga, Space Cat Saga. I remember the name of things. Uh, you know, I grew up with Doom, so I figured it'd be fun and relaxing to get a little Doom mod in. Because we're gonna record some more Elden Ring and figure this be a nice little warm up. It's been a while since we did anything, so I don't know. That would be fun. Because our cats enjoy the high life, and we need to work. <laughs> 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 they they have to relax. Man, 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 man. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty great Doom mod. You can grab it. Maybe I should uh, link it in the description. Um, ow. Ow. Um, this is this is great. This uh, this Doom mod like it interestingly blends like a slaughter a slaughter mod concept with like making you work for it just enough without it being like, absolutely like frustrating. So like. It keeps you on your toes, and as long as you're thinking, you're fine, and it, it'll have like lots, lots of fun slaughteriness. Ooh. Um. I just like how you like totally crashed a rave, killed everybody, and the person <laughs> who like turned on all the lights, like party's over. Excuse you, they crashed my rave. All right. You went into a portal in their realm. They were just chilling and doing monster things and doing the monster match. I mean, the one, the one kind of human. Like that's not a human, obviously. Are you sure? He's been working out. <laughs> Get them sweet body mod, bro. Like that's, I don't think a human. I thought I saw something that was kind of human me. Yeah, that. Or are they zombies? Yeah, they're supposed to be uh, zombified uh, UAC soldiers. Okay. Because it's kind of hard to tell with the coloration, because everything's like flashing and moving too quick. Like, it looked humanoid, but I couldn't quite tell. Yeah, hopefully you don't get motion sickness watching this. We'll see. <laughs> so, it's not too bad when you're moving around, so I should be okay. It's only when a lot of things are like similar colors. I think the um, slight pixelation detailing is helping me not get like that. Because like, mm -hmm. well a lot of games they kind of have like a, you know, with the color pa palette and stuff, and so a lot of them kind of go smoothly with each other, but when you're moving around and stuff, they tend to blend a whole lot more. When things are a little bit more squared off and you're moving around, you you can see the squares, so it breaks it up. Hmm. Yeah, actually, what, what was interesting was I was streaming this earlier. Um, I, th I think it was last night, wasn't it? Two... Two nights ago? Two nights ago, yeah. Yeah, so I was streaming it, and um, I, like, I didn't realize I had, like... Um, Oh, what's it called? Um, Anti-aliasing, I think. Um, and like everything was nice and like blurred together, so it looked like, you know, it wasn't all pixely and bl and chunky. And I didn't realize I had it on. And I, I thought it looked a lot, but I didn't question it. And I was like going through the um, settings. I was like, oh, that's on. So I turned it off, and it was like a world of difference. I'm like, oh, it feels so much better. It makes me feel a lot less goopy. It's just, it, uh, 
It was honestly so kind of hurting my sick. eyes. So it makes you sick too if it's at a certain time? If it, everything's like blurry, it just it kind of hurts my eyes. Everywhere. Like pixelation, I have no problem with. Like, I pixel think, art, I love pixel art. But like when they blur pi pixel art, yeah, that's weird. Well, yeah, because like, again, I think because, well, one, since I'm not the one playing, my mind doesn't automatically know where you're turning all the time. Because like when you're moving the mouse, you kind of have an idea of like, you know, where you're looking because you're, you know, your body's moving that way. Okay, you're looking that way. When someone else is playing and they're like moving around, you have like a, like a millisecond tick before, you know, you're, you refocus. So when things get a little bit too blurry and stuff and it's too fast and moving too fast and I, and it's like, nope, <laughs> brain cannot commute. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I, I never really experience uh, like motion sickness or anything like that. Glad you don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't recommend. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. <laughs> My brain sucks. I want a new one. Can I get one at Ikea? Build your own brain. BYOB. Build your own brain. <laughs> oh. This brain doesn't have enough cats in it. <laughs> My health is uh, a little low here. Let me, let me, let me save here. Save scumming. Just say save scumming. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with saving? Down the one. Why? It's generally agreed that, uh, uh, uh not manicured, what is it? Kind of curated, theory? curated, oh, okay. uh, checkpoint system is better. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you just got that. <laughs> well, you said manicured, and I was like, <laughs> manicured. <laughs> My brain, too, uh, is it, slow sometimes, alright? This is how we do things. Yeah, but, like, you work so hard to get to a certain point. I mean, I can, uh, I don't know, like, I guess I can kind of understand, like, purists want to be like, no, I did it from the beginning to the end, and I didn't have to stop and do the save thing, and meh. I was like, but... I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not It's not even like uh, doing like a night, an Iron Man run where, you know, you die, that's it. It's just, you know, curated checkpoints so you don't like, you know, like, okay, I killed one enemy, save. You know, killed another enemy, save. You know, it's like, no, like, if you die, you have to go through a little bit at least. So like the idea is and that's why it's curated, it's so like it gives you a little bit of challenge but still rewards you for clearing an area. Hmm. And like there's varying degrees of that. So like for example maybe it checkpoints after clearing this room, this room, and like this hallway. You know, and I was like, okay that's important checkpoint. Or maybe every time you get a key at the checkpoint. So the key is an important item and that unlocks like a new area. I guess I always associated with like the stuff that um, you know with steps in the Minecraft. He works so hard, and then he like <laughs> falls to his death, and then you lose the world, you lose everything. And I forget how long he worked on that, because that was like a really long time. And he and you know he kind of like go go oh, around. Wow. The... I I can totally see that from. <laughs> Viewers can probably see it. It's it's we're on a giant TV, so. Oh god. What even was that? It was a map. Why was it all brown? You know, I don't know why it was brown, because I remember the um, auto map being uh, black. But. Yeah. I don't know, you know? But anyway, I felt so bad for him. He worked so hard and it was like all gone. <laughs> That's why I like saving. It's like. Yeah. I don't want to work my butt off and then have it all disappear. It's mean. I like a reward. I don't know, I grew up with saves coming because I, I mostly did uh, PC gaming um, rather than old like, Nintendo 5 games. 
I think that's why I disliked a lot of um, older video games and stuff because a lot of times, like they did have some saves, but a lot of like ones you would play it and then you would have two or three lives or something, and then if you use those up, it was game over, and then you yeah. had to start from the very beginning, regardless where you were. Very arcadey. Yeah, and I, I understand, like, you know, that's how they got the money and whatever, but I like, I hate, I like watching them. I do like watching them. I hate playing them. How's this Mario Kart? Because then you go, like, zooming around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a Mario Kart? Mm. All uh, blue shells all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Go crazy. I'd say red shells are probably better. You don't like the blue shells? No, because the red shells will take out your direct competition, whereas the blue shell only takes care of the person in front of you. But that's not helpful if you're like in six, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. And then the green ones are kind of like... Maybe you'll hit something. Yeah. Maybe you'll hit yourself. <laughs> Same thing with banana. High bananas. risk, low reward, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the green shells. Or like the stupid coins that do nothing. Woohoo, I got some coins. <laughs> I'm still in last place. <laughs> they unlock things. What do the coins unlock? They unlock like new um, like um, wheels and like cars and stuff like that. Not in the older ones, did they? Um, that I don't know. Because I just remember, like, the coins, and it's like, woohoo, got some money. Oh, you got hit. You lost the two coins you acquired. Guess I'll die. <laughs> I think of Rainbow, Rainbow Road. That one hurt my eyes. That one was pixelated, but because of the colors kept on moving back and forth for changing, that one made me a little sick. So I really like this. You flip a switch and you watch the door open, so you kind of know what happened. That's very nice design there. Because otherwise you'd be walking around like, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> I know that was a huge complaint of the um, original Dooms. I didn't get that too much in Doom. I got that a lot in Hexen. In Hexen there was a lot um, where I was just like, oh, God, I'm just eating all these fucking fireballs, just nomming them down like hungry little hippo. Um. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like very specific. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, he bit your butt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't save in a while. Um, I'm so used to uh, checkpoint games like uh, Dark Souls and stuff. I'm not used to saves coming in. Um, or just saving responsibly in general. Um, Save responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your doctor. <laughs> Talk to your doctor before saving. <laughs> Seeing if saving is right for you. Warning. Saving may, <laughs> saving may uh, lead to unfortunate consequences. Uh, saving on death screens. <laughs> that would be horrible. You live to die. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I've had those before. Oh, really? You save a second before death. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Then do you, do you have to do the save prior to that, then? So. Sometimes, yeah. Speaking of... Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Sip, uh, Sips has a funny one there where he did that. Um, oh, he's, he saved before, right before death. Yeah, right uh, <laughs> d well, during his one uh, Skyrim playthrough. Hmm. That was pretty funny. Fuck you. Fuck you. That was a waste of bullets, but I don't care. You just want hugs. That's not a hug. That's a hug you with my claws. That's the opposite of a hug. That's death. Those are angry Pokemon. Pokemon! Well, they kind of remind me of the gas face orb thing. I don't remember what one that. Ghastly? Oh, <laughs> it's literally just ghastly. <laughs> the gas one, you know, with the face. I can't remember. That's it. <laughs> it's ghastly. Like, prick. Ghastly. 
<laughs> We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You won't get this from any other guy. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Try to make you under open up. All right. Make you understand. That this is weird. Now we're gonna open up. Gonna stay fucking close. Gotta run around the other way. Gonna lock the door. I'm gonna throw away the keys. Was it Doom that was, um, like it wasn't 3D, right? That was the mod where you could like turn around and do things uh, for the different planes. Duh. Um, so was Doom, the, the original Doom's, um, uh, uh, oh god, words right now. Sorry. Are <laughs> 10 health. Fucking, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Go die. Burn in hell. Uh. And now Safe's coming. And now for our sponsors. It's a children's book. <laughs> Sorry. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> that is a book. It is. <laughs> um, yeah, so the original Doom's engine was um, isometric, and that's actually what this map is that okay. you can't see. Um, but the it's viewers just, can, for reference. It looks like coffee. It looks like spilt coffee. <laughs> it does. Like some cream. Some, some milkiness. Milky coffee. Um, that's all I see. And maybe like little hairline fractures. I drink it up! Um... That was a milkshake. No, it was just milkshake. I... Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, the thing I'm referencing yes. that I don't actually know what it's referencing? Um, I think it was from There Will Be Blood or oh, something. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. He's always been known as, like, an intense actor who apparently decided to retire this year formally. Hmm. Actually, there's quite a few actors recently that came out that they're retiring this year. Bruce Willis being one of them. He has some health issues. Mm. And decided to do that and there was someone else I can't remember that I saw recently that they were retiring because they're just over it. Which is understandable. Because, you know, a lot of movies take a long time to film and then you're away from the family for a lot of it and I really can't have much of a life. My main thing would be like remembering dialogue. <laughs> mm. What what am I supposed to say again? Line. Give me a line. Wow, oh, I could have sworn that popped open. Is it a thing Come that you have to save? Um what was I talking about? Oh, I don't know. We got sidetracked. <laughs> oh, right. Um, so, yeah, the first Doom's um, uh, level design uh, engine ran isometric. So it was actually a top-down system, top-down shooter. And then everything um, used... Um, I keep trying to say ray tracing. I don't think it's right. That's that thing. Light. It might be an early ray tracing. I don't know. Is that the where I Duck Hunt was? No. Oh. No, that was a light gun. Yeah. No, I don't know what that is. The idea is it sent out um, rays Moving from down. from wherever the player is supposed to be and hits walls, and then it tries to generate those walls as a 3D environment. Um, so, and then certain lines that were drawn were meant to be elevations. So, like this, were a different type of line that you could draw on the map to signify an, either an elevation down or up. And so that's when it would register in that you're either going up or down. Um, but it's just completely flat. That's why in the original one, um, the first level, um, th I think it's called Hangar, um, you go into a certain level. Um, actually, this is another good example here. Um, the enemy's up here, even if you're firing straight, because there was no Z. <laughs> there was no Z <laughs> access. <laughs> or, wow. Z axis um, 
so enemies up there would be on the same level as you despite being up. So see when I shot forward, um, it would actually shoot up at them. Um, I'm sure there was um, ways of like figuring out what you were shooting at via like, some primitive scripting. Um, like but... that's just so weird to me. And then it, it also kind of reminds me of like when they redid, um, was it Link's Awakening from the one type of game to the Switch? Where they actually had everyone slanted yeah. to make it look more realistic, because you can't you can't move the camera around in um, that game, so they had to make it look 3D and whatever. But you had to see their faces, so everything was like at a slant because the original game was, I think, 2D pixel, right? Because it was for the hint, like a Game Boy or something. Um, yeah, I think so. It was one of those uh, I, think it was, I think it was Game Boy Advance. No, it might have been Game Boy Color. Um, yeah, well, that's the problem with, like, isometric stuff. It's like, you know, if you make it directly top-down, then it, just, it doesn't look quite right. So, yeah, yeah you kind of skew it to give, things, to give things depth. So you can see the face of them. Otherwise, you'd just be staring at treetops and stuff like that all the time with the tops of people's heads. Um, and some games do stay that um for example um i think uh gauntlet no even gauntlet did a little bit of um that slant for I isometricness um which is weird to think about but like you, when you look at it in the thing it you know it kind of makes sense why they did it that way mm -hmm. and it makes it a little bit more interesting and nicer to look at to be honest. like you said you don't want to look at top because you don't, then you won't really have that interaction yeah. type deal, so. I'm a farmer in my laser. And <laughs> dying. Oh god, I'm all the <laughs> way back here. Oh. Sorry, I'm distracting you. I, I know. I'm trying to... <laughs> so, when they drop guns, can you pick up their guns, or is that not how you get the guns? Yep. Oh, I see. I, I don't always read the top corner. Me neither. Oh, what was that one game we were playing that it could, oh, I think it was Payday? Because the way that they have your teammates' health is where normal games put your health bar. So I thought I was doing great, but I was dying because <laughs> my health bar was like on the other side of the screen, middle part that I don't pay attention to clearly. And you know, I was looking at his and I'm like, oh, I'm doing great. And then I die and I'm like, I was full green. Oh, that wasn't even me. <laughs> Dude, I did that so often too. It's just, well, I'm just so used to where things are, so when a game, I mean, you know, each game should be their own thing, but when you're so used to it kind of being, quote unquote, the norm, I'm just going to start using that. <laughs> you know, it's like how most games is the WFD, what's the other one? A? No. Yeah, WASD. And Lost. then, like... You know, if a game starts using other letters of the keyboard, I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> I have trouble, like I have muscle memory of where things are at on the keyboard. So if it's something slightly different, I'm not gonna remember. And for some reason, some games don't have a um, thing where you can change the keys. I think that should be mandatory. <laughs> Just saying. I don't create games, so I don't know how hard that is to make it a thing, but... I mean, that's pretty goddamn stick. I think that's the same spot where you died. <sighs> so it's standard? Yeah. Am I just dumb and not finding it? No. Yeah. 
Selection of meat. Oh god, I don't have a bullet tonight. Side a kidney and some spleen. How glorious hell. Fill me up. Oh, you're okay, you're at 5%. <laughs> Xerxes is like dead staring at you. He just woke up to stare. Ting tang. Call him all the bean man. You know, if that floor texture was slightly different, it would be the flooring of that, um, Movie. That movie. The Shining, because it has the octagon things, so it just needs the little lines. I vaguely see it. The Shining. Shining. Oh. And the different. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Dean! Sam! Dean! I mean, this would be perfect for them. All these the monsters to kill and stuff. All the monsters, hell barons, and hell knights. You know, when I go to a place, I don't want rivers and waterfalls of blood and what? brains. I don't know, not really my aesthetic. It really brings a warmth to the place. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Alright, fuck it, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we end on death. You die, you die, you die, you die. Just watching this guy kind of go. It is about him like turning around. <laughs> Nah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, um, watching, this. yeah, whatever <laughs> this was. This nice little break from stuff to, you know, like I said, I, uh, I played Doom a lot. I played Doom a lot as a, <laughs> as a kid, you know. I, uh, grew up with Doom, a little two-year-old running around slaughtering demons. Get my uh, demon slaughtering in early, so I love I love just kicking back once in a while, loading up a good good old fashioned Doom mod, and just you know slaying, ripping and tearing. Them. I think another cool thing is like how old the yeah. game has been that it's still kind of like loved enough that people are still making like mods for it over and over and over again. I know, it fa it honestly fascinates me. Cause like, some game, I mean, they have a fan base, and again, not all games are okay with people doing this to their thing. Which mm -hmm. is again, understandable, cause the people who worked on it originally, you know, spent their lives doing it, but you know, it's like their baby, so I wouldn't want people changing it up to do like some weird thing to it. Yeah. So I, I get that part too, but I just, I don't know, I kind of always like other people's takes on something where it's like, okay, it can be slightly the same, but then they do something <laughs> nice. Because I think, um, at least with the original one, wasn't that a mod to make it a little bit more user friendly? What? Um, is it something with the movements that you were telling me? Because, like, so, oh, yeah, so this is running on um, GZ. Um, 
and yeah, basically it, it puts it into an actual proper 3D, um, uh, 3D uh, engine. And uh, I think it's John Romero recommends playing Doom on G uh, G Doom G Z Doom nowadays, just because it's you know they had limitations at the time that they had to work with, but it you know might not necessarily met their vision for the game, and this helps them realize their vision for the game. I like how we said goodbye like five minutes ago. What's <laughs> going yeah. on? <laughs> This is like life. Yeah, bye. But we'll stay. We'll stay talking like 20 minutes after. All right. Going to my parents' house. Yeah, I love you. Bye. And then we're talking like for an extra half hour to an hour. That's how you show real love. <laughs> or we just don't know how to shut up too. <laughs> One of the two. For Kino Lados. Okay. Bye. <laughs> for reals.